let me go in and update the stream uh, description because as you know, uh, at the end of last year I had some trouble. Uh, and then I will give a formal introduction in a moment. Here it is. And, uh-huh. Oh, nice, I had some default video settings. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. Paste over here. Oh my gosh, it's January 2021. Um, hello. That's good. This means the notification has gone out. And I'm updating the description right now just to indicate that it is Paradise Fibers that we are gonna be opening up today. Um we okay playlists paradise fibers cool no i used to do all this in advance but when i tried to schedule streams from my phone it was not working well so therefore uh i am modifying yes um everything for 2021 that is not pre-filmed and pre-recorded is really behind schedule. <laughs> um, but I will uh, talk about that in just a moment. Now, Paradise Fibers transitioned from boxes to custom bags um, that I think are biodegradable. I don't know. I think. But I, um, they transitioned to custom bags. And when this one arrived, I was like, is this a quote for something I'm not remembering? I think that this might not be a custom bag. I think that this might be like a um, an option because we saw things like that uh, from some other packaging companies, but I don't know. We will see what the theme is um, in a moment. Now, Paradise Fibers does send me their Fiber of the Month Club for free every month for me to share and unbox, and I am a member of their affiliate program, which means I do earn commission if people sign up for the club, and you can find my link down in the description, and I'm gonna pop it into the chat in uh, just a moment <laughs> as I bend out over here. Hello, oh yeah, I guess I'm in a good um, time for everyone over in uh, across the pond. Why can't, here we go. Uh, and now I can actually drop it in the chat. The delay, I think from my phone, um, if you've watched some of my other live streams and see the delay from like where the chat goes to what you see live, uh, the delay isn't as big on the phone, but yeah, we've got France. I saw Wales, um, and then Charlotte and Portland and Germany. Hello everyone. I hope that you guys are all doing well. And actually, I'm gonna move this over here so I can see the chat without bending over. That's probably a better setup. Hello. So yeah, I am actually really excited to open this. It's been sort of burning a hole in my pocket for a while since it arrived. Um, oh, it's after midnight. Um, yeah, Happy New Year. I will admit I've been having a rough year so far. Um, and so there have been many nights when I've wanted to come and do the unboxing. Um, and I just haven't, I just haven't been up for it. And it's been hard to like, do a lot of stuff. So my um, grandfather died from cancer um, at the very beginning of January. And so I'm just a mess. Um, but I am looking forward to uh, unboxing this and dealing with some happy fiber because I think that it will um, cheer me up. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to talk about it because I'll probably start crying, but uh, I'm very lucky that um, my grandfather was 96. I'm 37. I've been able to have many, many wonderful years with him. So uh, I'm trying to focus on that and not the awfulness that is dealing with grief during a pandemic when you can't be with your family. So, <laughs> I mean, I can be with my, my boys, 
um, they're all here for me. So anyway, uh, sorry for um, being, I mean, I'm still being myself. I'm just not quite on my like all the way up here. I'm more like down here today. <laughs> Um, but I've been going up and down and so actually it feels good to be doing this um, and to start filming again and so that's been uh, really nice but all right just wanted to let you all know what's been going on and so I don't know when I'm gonna do the December January dialogue um, maybe next maybe some evening We'll see, but I think that I'm not going to really schedule it in advance. I'll probably just hop on. Uh, so make sure your notifications are on and that you're subscribed if you don't want to miss it. Because uh, I think that if my mood is good for streaming, then I'm going to hop on and jump at the chance. Uh, and so that is sort of the way I envision things going forward this month. Um, but the, the funeral is... Uh, towards the end of the month because in um, I mean I'll, I'm zooming in but yeah it's things are slower and everything's just chaotic so hello and thank you all so much and I am wishing health to all of you and please be safe um, but all right happy fiber which is upside down so happy fiber <laughs> now uh, and Actually, I don't know if things are backwards for you guys or not. Um, I don't remember how my camera is set. And I have to get through an ad on my channel to see. Oh, good. It's it's not backwards. So that's helpful. Um, yeah, no, my I've got I've got family in the UK and know how things were shut down and like, yeah. Um, but I'm really excited. So Paradise Fibers is a really, really fun mystery box subscription. Every month they contain six to eight ounces of fiber and there's a combination of natural fiber, um, well, all the blends contain natural fibers, but natural undyed fiber, sometimes with even dyeing projects in there. Uh, and then there can be things that are blended fiber or space dyed and all kinds of techniques and blends. And it is so much fun. Uh, the subscription starts at $34.99 a month in the continental US. Um, and that includes shipping. And then there's options uh, that are already listed for Alaska, Hawaii, uh, UK, EU, uh, and Canada. Uh, and so, which are slightly more to accommodate for the increased shipping costs. But if your country is not listed, just reach out to Paradise Fibers and they're able to ship more places, I believe. Hello, Indy. I think that is just the children upstairs. Um, <laughs> so, anyway. Um, but let's open this up. I have no idea what the theme is. And so, um, wait, have I ordered after long, last month the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe yet for the boys? The Narnia series? I don't remember. I meant to. Um, ooh! All right, I'm already feeling cheered up. They are not using fibers that are being discontinued, I hope. So do you know if we can still get them? Yes. So a lot of times, occasionally, I was like, usually, the fiber and the fiber of the month club boxes are a new fiber that they are about to be releasing on their site. So if you are a club member, you can save 10% off all full priced fiber purchases from the Paradise Fibers website. And another perk is that if you want more of the fiber that is in the club box, which you would get at that 10% discount, you can actually call or email to order more before they put it on the website. Uh, very rarely, and by rarely I mean once, they had a month that had little bits of fiber from a lot of past months in a fun grab bag. And so I don't know if that was something that was on the website, but otherwise the blends usually are things that they are then releasing. And so club members are getting the first look at something new that they've put together. So Linda, I hope that that helps. And often if I had like, promoted this in advance versus hopping on. Um, often they try to, uh, if they're able, sometimes they hop in the streams, but I don't think they know this one is happening. So I oohed because I have no idea what the theme is, but we've got this beautiful silver bag that is squishy. So we've, we've probably got some kind of fiber or something in there. Ooh, 
We've got a little bag with some extras and it's snowflaking theme. Ooh, create and hope. Oh my gosh. I Okay, I'm probably gonna get emotional. Um, but this, I don't, I still don't know what the theme is yet, but I wanted to show you guys all Eunice. Um, so we have a white on white Eunice that is the mascot of Paradise Fibers. And I have a feeling that the sticker is probably clear. Um, so I haven't actually, I need to get a clipboard. I haven't decided what I want to do with my Paradise Paper stickers, but I'm peeling this back. Yeah, so it is clear and it says uh, create on it. So it's white and clear and it is the Paradise Fibers Sheep logo. These stickers are really, um, really beautiful. Uh, another question, do they only sell unspun fiber? No, they also sell yarn. I don't think they sell any hand spun, but uh, you can through Paradise Fibers. They sell a lot of like winning, winning, weaving and spinning equipment um, in addition to yarn and they even have some dyes and all kinds of stuff. Um, I think that they're like a great like local yarn shop, but they have a lot of um, fibers as well. So I'm totally going into these extras, which are in a little snowflake bag because um, I also got excited by this little Hope Progress Keeper right here. It's just simple with some sequins that honestly, these look like these are sequins and beads um, that we may have had in a past kit, which is another really cute thing to do um, to make a little progress keeper like we have here. Um, and so that is just really, really sweet and uh, really actually perked me up. Uh, they have drop spindles, which are a really great, inexpensive way to play around with spinning. Um, you can get drop spindles, and I don't know the price of the ones on their website, um, but you can get them for often between, I would say, 20 and, I mean, I'm sure you could get really expensive drop spindles as well, but it's, they're small, like, they're, they're small enough that they fit in a bag like this, and so it's a, like, an easy way to sort of see if you like it before trying to go and invest in a wheel or something. And uh, what was I gonna say? The, yeah, ooh, ooh. So, okay, so we see create and I think, oh, I see. All right, so we've got a large organza bag here that is cream. And then the fiber has a sheen to it. And I'm looking, I'm wondering if it's some kind of silk blend. I'm guessing off the top of my head, but this is beautiful. And oh my goodness. Okay, we'll see what it is because there's a, a card, but um, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, blank canvas. Blank canvas. Oh, this is so fun. Um, this is so fun. Okay, there are two... Um, I'm getting better at my fibers. All right, so blank canvas. A new year is like a blank canvas and the brush is in your hands. It is your chance to paint a beautiful story for yourself with hopes anew. Here's to wishing you and your family a wonderful year ahead filled with new adventures, friendships, inspiration, and fiber. Happy new year. Um, so we have two drop spindles. Um, and you have yet to have the courage to fail and fail again before you succeed. So I'll talk a little bit about my spinning journey in a moment. But, oh, they have a few different options. So the you will randomly get a sticker that either says inspire, hope, or create. And they have two little progress keepers. There's a hope one and a fearless one. Oh, and what kind of stash tea? Um, so they, they often include stash tea, um, and it is a Earl Grey tea. Um, so wash away. 2020 with a delicate plant derived travel size soak that is scentless um, that'll clean the dirtiest of fibers um, and so then they have that some zest with the citrusy um, bergamot oh, I'm not good with pronunciations uh, old gray stash tea then hold on inspiration with your craft with your progress keeper and so they have the inspirational vinyl sheep stickers to go with this year um, ooh, I'm excited because now I know what's in here and this is a big bag. Okay, so 
in this. This is the Simply Socks Blend. This is six ounces of a delightfully soft, naturally elastic and strong blend of 80% USA Targi wool, 10% viscose bamboo, and 10% Tussa silk in the white organza bag. So I was right, there is silk, but we've also got some um, bamboo in here. And the reason why I guess that there was some kind of silk, and I'm not sure if this will show on camera, but okay, you see how it almost looks like there's like a white stripe? through. I think that that's some of the blend in there. And this is gorgeous. And honestly, this is a great candidate for a dye pot or to use, and they have many examples um, in here, to use on its own. I'll open up this in a minute. Um, but then they have a crochet braid, um, crown braid headband. Um, and so it's a free pattern that is on, I guess it's from Surella, and so it's also on Ravelry and that they list here. So this is something they made out of the yarn. And so, and they talk about on the back um, a little bit about the fiber as well. So this project doesn't include any dyes or anything like that, but, oh man, you know me that uh, I end up dyeing a lot of fiber, the natural fibers that I get from Paradise Fibers, and I save, I actually have a whole box and save. And I think in November, they gave us some walnut, um, some dry walnut hulls, which honestly, there might be a timer that goes off. Oh, I probably should go check it because I'm actually using that right now. Uh, I will be right back. I need to go check the temperature. <laughs> five to 10 degrees over my target. So this is obviously gonna be a video, but um, I'm now using up some of the leftovers from it. So uh, yeah, but I'm not dying roving, I'm just dying yarn. Um, ooh, some blueberries. I haven't tried that yet. I got frozen blueberries to try using at one point, um, but that was like right before the pandemic started. And then I was like, we're gonna eat these. <laughs> um, so my, um, I still hope to get some, I thought I was going to be able to film some spinning videos at the end of the year, and I'm hoping to do some this year. We'll see. This semester is going to be really chaotic for my family. Uh, Keith is teaching two classes. Uh, he wasn't teaching in the fall, which made things easier. So it's going to be, it's going to be busy. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm anticipating doing some, a lot of voiceover type content, but my spinning journey, um, I got a drop spindle and then played around with that a lot and then got a spinning wheel, goodness, about eight years ago. And I signed up for a mystery fiber of the month club, not the one from Paradise Fibers, a different one uh, from an indie dyer. And it was really, really useful. And it was, I got different fibers and blends each month and different colorways and ending up with some colorways that weren't the ones that necessarily I would purchase if I went to a fiber fair or something meant that I used those to challenge myself with various techniques. And so I was more likely to just go for it and try something with less pressure when the colors weren't instantly my favorites. And the result of that is I ended up creating some yarn that I really loved um, out of colors that I didn't think were necessarily my thing. And it gave me exposure to different fibers. And so that's one way that doing a club like this can be really, really helpful for getting started. And so I think that the Paradise Fibers Club is a great club for people who are more experienced spinners and want like a variety and a treat yourself kind of package, or for people who are just starting out and want to try different blends because we've had rose fiber and pineapple fiber and all kinds of unique things and colors and there's a really great uh, variety. But let's open this up. Ooh, we've got two ounces of Firestar and this is white and it is shiny. Um, 
it, it, ooh, oh, I don't think I knew what to expect. Um, so this is, I wouldn't call it pearlescent or anything, but it is definitely really shiny. Uh, and it talks about in uh, the brief newsletter how you can sort of ply it in as you go and blend it as you go and um, or blend it together uh, before. And so then the yarn will shimmer a little bit and also have some more strength for the heels and toes of socks. And what else does it say about Firestar? Um, so it's a stark white nylon fiber in a silver drawstring bag. It's an inelastic synthetic fiber that's ideal for blending to add sparkle and strength. It can be spun as is um, or carded with wool or plied with another strand of wool to reinforce heels and stock, socks or add glitz. Um, so that is really, really fun. Um, and I am going to pop you back into the silver bag so I can keep you straight. So unlike, I'd say unlike Angelina, which I think is a bit shorter and then has more of that like shiny or iridescence and metallicness, this is more like it's a bit shinier than silk and stronger, but as a nylon, it does have a similar, similar structure to the protein fibers that we dye. And so really it's dyeable as well. Um, happy birthday, Natalie. Happy birthday. So yeah, um, yeah, that, uh, so yeah, this is really, really fun. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I was trying to think, cause sometimes, sometimes the kits that come together are really elaborate. And this one isn't as elaborate as some of the others, but it is still honestly like a brush, a breath of air. And um, I, I am smiling just because like blank canvas is what I live for. That's sort of the a motivation behind the whole channel is just to take yarn and play with color and to create things that you want to use to create things. And so I'm really excited. I don't know if I want to spin this up bare or what, but I am just feeling really inspired. And so there's a chance I'll wanna dye this. There's a chance. I always get nervous when spinning or dyeing fiber because I'm always afraid I'm gonna ruin it, but I haven't really ruined fiber yet. So yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Molly. Uh, but yeah, I think that this is really, really sweet and, uh, oh man. And honestly, like, I know that there's also so many, not that I haven't spoken to, with them about anything. I, there's so many production delays and everything like that, that, um, I am impressed with the simplicity of this crate as well. Um, just knowing how things have been the last year uh, uh, for people is is pretty wild. But I I love just you know the simplicity of of hand spun yarn is gorgeous, and this blend is amazing. I have no idea if they just have huge like drum carters in house or how they go about preparing the fiber um, for these these kits. I would love to go and visit someday and maybe get like a little behind the scenes tour or something. I mean, maybe they would let me have a behind the scenes tour. Um, that would be amazing. I would love to do that. Um, of course, I love the idea of even traveling anywhere again. <laughs> traveling anywhere. So yeah, I think that like getting like a little like progress keeper that says hope on it that's really, really what I needed right now. <laughs> Paradise Fibers, how did you know? How did you know what's going on in my head? And that just, I'm, you know, trying to feel like my, like myself again. And so that's why I've just been starting to film and die more again, because it's such a big part of me that it's something that I needed to do. I still have 
uh, content that I filmed back in 2020 that'll take us through the rest of the month and even into February. So it's not, I'm not filming again because like, oh, I need the content. I'm filming again because it's truly a part of me and my escape and creativity and passion. And so I'm very excited to, to do that. And so having this, and it, this is clear on white and you totally can't see, but, and I don't want to take it off. I, that needs to go someplace really big. Um, but there, you can see them on the card. Uh, I just really, really need this. Uh, and so this really just inspired me. And the fiber is, all their fiber is really stunning. I mean, what else have we had? We've had flax. We've had, um, I mean, I think that the coral, living coral themed box with the Pantone color from, I guess, was that last year or the year before? I don't remember, but that's where we had some coral. That's where we had the pineapple fiber. It was like a tropical theme. And like, it's just, these things are all so, so, so fun. Um, and gosh, I can imagine that like, it's probably really hard to put things together if you're not going places. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know that uh, I am really, really excited by this fiber and I really need to, I've got, I've got more bobbins for my spinning wheel, but I also have a bunch of bobbins that are full, but I just need to like finish, finish finishing the yarn. <laughs> and then I haven't done that yet. Uh, so that is something that is definitely on my list. But I just also wanted to say Happy New Year, and then I missed all of you. And I am really excited for things that are gonna come this year. And I will be more, uh, I've known that I need to just allow myself time for grief and for processing and dealing with that. And so I, um, you know, each time I was like, oh, I was feeling okay. And then I'm not okay, but I know that that's okay. And so like, I, I'm rambling and not making a lot of sense, but I know that it is okay for me to do that. And so this is, this is why I'm slower replying to comments. It's why like I, haven't been posting as much like on Instagram and things like that. I've just been trying to give myself time to just do absolutely nothing. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Um, I, I mean, I truly love what I'm able to do and playing with color and experimenting. And I mean, I was, I dyed sock points with lollipops yesterday. It was delightful and fun. And it is just so, it's so nice to be able to escape into the color and the artistry. And it's something that I just, I love so, so much. And so, yeah, thank you all for, I guess, for coming along on my journey with me. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I hope that everyone is staying healthy and being safe and yeah I mean this this is there's just it's been a busy <laughs> busy month so far uh but I think yeah so if if things if the the dialogue for January I'm like if I have to push it to February I have to push it to February you know like I will I've got ideas for that sparkler based yarn and I'm excited to dye some sparkler inspired yarn. Um, and I'm very excited and I have visions and plans for it, but you know, I just need to have the, um, the stamina and strength for a life for a, like a longer live stream, which, um, I haven't quite been up for yet. So, um, uh, but thankfully we've all been healthy. So, um, I mean, you know, my, the rest of us have all been really healthy. <laughs> um, so I'm thankful for that. Um, thank you. Thank you. I mean, we knew it wasn't a surprise, but I think that the, one of the hardest things was that if it wasn't a pandemic, there were, there was a moment when I would have hopped on a plane to go be with him. 
uh, and that was not an option. And so that is, and that was, is one of the hardest things was, which I know I'm not unique from dealing with this. Um, you know, I think that this is a fairly universal struggle for a lot of people right now. Um, so I think that that's been one of the hardest things. And also like my dad lives 25 minutes away from me and I can't like hug him. And so that is awful. <laughs> and like, you know, so it's, we're, I'm trying to be positive, but I've, I go, I go, I just have been going up and down, which I know is normal. So, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I appreciate the understanding and, uh, yeah, I'm uh, all over the place. I'm all over the place. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I do have, um, I think that later on, like, I'll have a knit crate that I want to unbox at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when. I mean, again, like, I think any, any streams I do will be fairly last minute. Um, and... Yeah, I'm, this semester will be interesting because last semester Keith was able to work completely from home. So he was here and, um, which meant that like during breaks from Zoom school, like kids could go be with him and like, or if I needed to run to the mailbox, I could go to the mailbox and things like that. So we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, every, uh, it's like every transition always increases anxiety. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful the boys, writer, I think I've prepared the boys for this more than I realized because my kids have been helping me a lot. So like I told, and I talk about my, my grandmothers both died before the kids were born. Um, and uh, I've been, you know, always telling the kids how like, oh, you know, you can talk to them in your heart. And so, you know, I think right after I told Ryder, he's like, I was like, you know, I'm like, I'm, I was like, mommy is sad because I can't talk to him or hug him again. And Ryder's like, mommy, you can talk to him in your heart. And so that's just, yeah, <laughs> I love my voice <laughs> a lot. Uh... Thank you all. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so this, this honestly helps. Like, it helps to, like, feel normal. <laughs> but sorry for um, not, uh, I mean, I guess I'm not, not being just the pure escape. <laughs> but thank you all for letting me just talk and share a little bit because it really does help. Um, and I also just, you know, want to be honest and don't want anyone to worry too, because if I didn't say something and you guys noticed there was something slightly off about me right now, like I didn't want anyone to freak out. And so, um, like, cause we are like otherwise doing really well. Um, so I am very, very thankful for a lot of things right now. Um, and especially all of our teachers out there who bless all of their hearts for all that they're doing. And yeah, I appreciate them more than ever. Um, well, I guess I appreciate lots of people. I could go on and on about all of our healthcare workers and um, other first responders and uh, our, the people who are at the supermarkets. And yeah, but I'm, I'm very, very thankful <laughs> for a lot of people right now. Um, but anyway, okay, I'm going to go, uh, thank you all for tuning in. And if you want to check out more about Paradise Fibers, again, I'm an affiliate. Uh, you don't have to use my link, but if you click on my link and sign up, I do earn a commission. Um, but obviously there is no obligation and I just dropped it in the tab again. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really fun club and I get so excited to see this on my doorstep every month. Um, and I'm really happy that they picked me to share this with all of you. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in and a huge socially distant hug from me to all of you. And I don't remember what video is coming out on Tuesday, but I think, 
yeah, I, I've lost track of what is coming out as what number, but it's going to be fun, and I really hope you will all enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> we've got lots of fun colors coming up, and yeah, just wishing everyone health and love. <laughs> thank you all so much for tuning in, and thank you for watching, and oh, subscribe! Subscribe, thank you! <laughs> I really am feeling so rusty too. I'm like, oh, it's been so long. When really, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's been like a month since I've streamed. <laughs> so not that long. Not that long. But all right, everyone. I will chat with you all soon. And even if I haven't had time to reply to comments yet, I am still seeing them. And so it gets excited. And I'm... Um, I do intend to go back and try to reply to as many questions and stuff as I can. So anyway, thank you all so much, and I will see you soon. Bye! Ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm so rusty. All right, goodbye for real. I found the button. <laughs>